Loving them. All right, fellow YouTubers, it's Caleb Craig, Death of Toys 1 2. Here to bring a review this time on the Legacy Thunder Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The box has really cool pictures of the Thunder Megazord attack mode. Shows you all of the Zords that are actually involved. Epic picture. Size, it says he turned to rid the universe of Power Rangers once and for all. Lord Zed has arsenal of monsters inspired by earthly plants and animals to battle these new villains. The Power Rangers are entrusted with new powers through Thunder Swords and joined by the powerful White Ranger who is armed with Saba Talking Tiger Sword and the mighty White Tiger Sword. Go, go, Power Rangers! And nothing else on this side. Secret of the Power Zords. The Mind Wolf Power Ranger second Megazord formation is created by combining five Megazords. With the power of Thunder, the original Dinosaurs are morphed into Tyrannosaurus, Red Dragon, the Mastodon Lion, the Triceratops, Unicorn, Saber Two, Tiger Griffin, and the Petrial Dactyl Firebird, Pterodactyl Firebird. Together they become the All Thunder Megazord. A nice picture of them at the bottom combined. On this side it says Legacy Thunder Megazord. Here you can see it has the Red Dragon Zord, Thunder Zord transformation, the Lion Thunder Zord, Firebird Thunder Zord, Unicorn. Thunderzord, Griffin Thunderzord, and here's a huge picture of it looking very nice. So I'll do in a separate video showing when you combine it with the Mega Tiger Zord. Awesome. At the bottom, a boring black and white photo showing you what's actually included. On the top, it says Legacy Thunder Megazord with all the Power Rangers there and showing a cool picture of him in the Megazord form. It is a quick look at the box, so now let's open it up. As soon as you open the box, they do have the cool part for the Assault Team. Well, for the Thunder Megazord attack mode. They do have this part which show where they're all hooked. I'll show that in a little bit. And of course, you do get the really cool sword. So we'll talk about those, but now on to the figures. And here you see all of them. And when you take these out of the box from the get-go, the red dragon sword is already in like his robot form. Looks very cool. Uh, it's really cool when you look at the feature of the legs, but we're going to look in detail at all of them, and then we're going to transform them all together. Starting off with the red dragon sword. In my honest opinion, they actually nailed it, and he looks way more sleek. I love how the shiny gold is. As you can see, you can actually turn the head. Instead of having stickers, you actually have it all painted. The gold has like kind of a glitter, like sparkly look to it. I love that. And I love how they did the actual head part and how it connects to the tail now. Now, I did have a small scuff right here. The little black is showing right in the middle. I haven't really bumped it up against anything, but it does look nice. And the legs are the same. What's cool about the legs now is that they are completely painted on the side, as you can see there. Looking very good, very nice. I do like that. And the, I can't wait to show you the feature on the legs. And also here, you can tell it's the same lines that go to the bottom. The older one, you actually just had like maybe two claws or one claw on each hand. This time now, they actually have here where you have four fingers and it looks like two thumbs. I guess the thumbs were supposed to look like they were connected and you can kind of see through them for when you transform them. So overall the transformation is pretty much the same as the retro one from the 90s. Now you do also get this really cool staff. I love the gold they painted. It looks nice here in the middle where the grip is. That gold looks good too so they did an awesome job on that. And you can see like it's not even pretty much the same gold here and here. So this came out very nice. One pattern I'm noticing right now among them all is that it's like some die cast and still plastic. So they're not completely die cast. It's like this is top heavy. All this in the middle right here is just die cast and then the rest is like plastic. So you're not getting a completely die cast figure. Now I'm actually gonna start them off in his Dragon Zord form because that's how they do it in the show. You see here they did an awesome job on the yellow for the eyes. Those look very good. You see here the gray, the gold, the green. Everything is looking really good. Like this is plastic, but it's painted so good and they have it so it's so sparkly. I love how that came out. And then it looks like it's a different tone of gold here, like towards the end. I love that. You see how the green and the gold do here? That looks very awesome. You can't help but love. This is actually like metallic on the inside and this is plastic, but you can't tell because it was painted so good, even though they didn't paint the outside green too. But this does look very nice. I do like how that came out. You do see it here, you still do get some screw holes, but to me it doesn't look that bad. And it all looks pretty good. Once again, there's the tail. The tail doesn't stick out as much like the gold on it, but it connects just like the older one. Looks very nice. You kind of tell here how it's still connected to the shoe. So I'm going to show you now how you would actually transform this back to its form. Now, what are the cool features you get for this Red Dragon Zord? You know this thing was like $200, so I'm sure you're wondering like, what do we get for that buck? Well, the only thing I'm really seeing is that instead of these just be being able to bend at one point, you actually can move them now. So when they're in leg form, you can smush them in like so, and they'll actually kind of stay if they're all facing the right way. But you can do this and they'll all pop out. Kind of like the uh, tail for the new Dragon Zord. Kind of like that. So now this can move up and down, but it won't stand up now. So now it'll kind of sag down, 
but you can move it and that's pretty much how both of them are. The way that they keep it up, cause see this is just kind of lagging, is that you would snap the leg and when it clicks, so it'll stay up that high. Or you can have it where they both stay up or they can both click down. So you hear that click? That's how you, de you decide on how high or how low you want to actually have the head. Now let's go on ahead and transform this bad boy. So you take off the head, set it to the side. It's pretty much the same. Um, when you take the legs, they're not tricky. It's pretty cool, but we'll start with the bottom. You flip this around and then you stick this in. Oh yeah, you stick it in here. There we go. Then after that, you're going to actually take the legs, flip them the right way, like so, if I'm doing it right. Yep, just like so. And you, oh yeah, take off this. Take that off, sticking both of those to the side. Probably should have did that first. But you take these, you flip this in, and you flip this in. Now, one thing I thought, and I thought I was gonna have to take this thing back, was for this reason. Let me show you. Um, if you go to transform it, and you leave the legs like in that weird form, it won't stand. I didn't know that, so I undid the legs, and I was like, is mom faulty? <laughs> You're going back to the store. I'm not gonna waste $200. But anyway, instead you just have to make sure that they're straight and that they actually stay in place like so. And then the actual arms are easy. Just click them in, turn them, take this, turn it back over, click it in, bring it down. So the transformation here is like exactly the same. You can decide if you want the hands to be facing out or facing there. So the articulation isn't that bad. You see this far can bend. You can bend here, so they've increased on that. I like that a lot. And you take the head. Oh, no, wait, you don't take the head first. You actually take this. And what you do is that you stick it in here, and it goes straight, and then you put it down, kind of like the older one. So that hasn't really changed either. And you take here, which is the actual head. What you're going to do is take it out, and then you come down with these. Now, the thing that's changed about this is that uh, you go down instead of just uh, sliding it in there you come straight down so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just stick it down in there and then you just take those and you align those down there later and then that's the full transformation of the red dragon zord very nice I do love it so now we're going to move on to the other zords and after that we're going to put them all together First off, we're going to talk about the unicorn. It looks very good. Don't really, can't really tell it's a unicorn. I wish it actually would. This would have been sticking out. I mean, come on, Power, Power Rangers. I don't really get how this is really, that's more like a mohawk, but hey, they consider that a unicorn. Goes down the back, you see that this is supposed to be the hair. Looks very nice. They did an awesome job on the actual paint though. I'm so glad there's no stickers, so it's so, it's so easy to mess those up. They didn't go with gold here, instead it's yellow, and then it actually turns to a darker, kind of closer to gold here for the outline. You see all the mechanics in there, so they do look good. Here on the front, the paint job just looks awesome. It looks the same as the stickers did on the older ones, but they're not stickers. Paint job's looking good in the middle. Gold there, the red dot, very nice. Tool eyes are real sleek and red, very small. And as you can see on this side, it's looking good. And here, these are supposedly looking like wings. The wings are just painted in there, and all the mechanics here and there. So the paint job on this unicorn is awesome. On the Griffin, you don't get so much wetted wings. It kind of looks like a wing, but you can see mechanics on here. The paint job looks good with the red, yellow, gold, and silver. They just mixed them all in there. Instead of all gold, it's gold and yellow in here. The head is yellow. You see here how these are kind of spread out. Same eyes as the other one. But what's cool is that it actually has this is sticking back. Looks very nice. I like how that came out. On the front, the main symbol is not like the uh, unicorn where it's gold. Instead, in the middle for this one, it's yellow. Same design here at the bottom, but instead of blue, it's black. Very nice. And in the front, head still looks very skinny and doesn't look that bad at all. And that's pretty much it for the Griffin. Now for the Mastodon line, I actually like this one like almost the most after the Red Dragon Zord, of course. I love how it came out. They did an awesome job on the gold. The green looks good. They didn't put in more green. And on the side, you can just see it's mostly black. And this looks like green, but it's like a really, really dark green. It's darker than the green here. I don't even know if you could tell. The only gripe I have is here in the middle. I wish this was translucent and it actually did include like maybe little metal pieces to go in there because it was metal pieces that you can put in the other one but i'll talk about that in the comparison video but as you can see here it does look very nice it's the same thing as the other one where you actually put the head on the bottom so that hasn't changed and you can actually see where the hands will fold out but this looks very good so the mastodine line came out really nice and i do love how it is so you know 
it just looks cool even though this green you can't really see through it uh it is a nice shade of green i do like how they did that i wish it could glow or something it should for 200 dollars. come on guys but it does look very nice i love the lines the actual pattern of the head comes out very good i do love how this here is at the bottom and folds it's even curled there so they didn't skip any detail on the paint and i love how all of this is gold not any yellow just straight gold just like the red dragon so i do like that last but not least we also have what is here the pterodactyl looks very nice they actually did put some pink in there i'm glad they did that because it didn't really make sense to me how it was for the pink ranger but it was red so i'm glad they put a little bit of pink in there as you can see here the actual head scope does look like a pterodactyl doesn't look that bad at all you can see a part of the weapon for the the weapon for the staff as a tail they put a nice shade of gold on there i do like that that came out very good the black looks good and that's it they you, like i've never seen that much detail in the pterodactyl but this one looks good and i do love how they gave it the gold tips you look you do have a lot of articulation in them if you ask me this head can of course move like this so you can kind of like you kind of role play with the sound. King! I think that was a horrible trying to make the sound. But anyway, the wings can bend that far and they can bend here. So you do get a lot of motion out of the wings. So this has a lot of articulation for the pterodactyl. And for the griffin, uh, it doesn't have the wheels to roll. What the crap? They always know these should have had the wheels to roll. But this can move here. Like, so I think the older one can roll. But this right here, this is the only motion you really get for it. And whenever you, of course, transform it, it'll be like so. So that's pretty much it for the motion for the griffin. Now let's look at the unicorn and see if it's any different. And here with the unicorn, it's a little bit smoother, but it's the same motion pretty much. Head can move up and down just like the other one, and it can go into its transform board. So both of them have the same amount of articulation pretty much. For this lion, uh, they used to have why to do a stick it in there. It's kind of weird. This one is a little thing that you actually bring out of the helmet and you gotta focus and kind of stick it back in there, which is kind of weird and a little bit complicated. It's like just sagging on there like so. But as far as articulation goes, not really any. And it doesn't even have the wheels to roll on here either. What the crap? Y'all could have included the wheels, but this just folds out like that. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. You can move this about that much, but if you move it any, the whole thing's gonna come apart because you know this part is on top. So Mastodon Lion, bad lion. And here's the big doll. Let's see if the red dragon has any type of articulation. Uh, we already talked about it, he does. They did an awesome job on the arms. The arms can bend and move. These can actually move too, so I'm very impressed. They took, it, it seems like they did spend a lot of time on him and I am very appreciative that they did. So these can move, you can't move the thumb, but I am very content with it, especially since you can move those claw finger hand things. Now, as far as the uh, feet go, well not feet, but the legs, you can actually, see if I can pop this out, and it can move like so. So you can move it that much if you pop it out. If you move it, I guess this counts as articulation, if you wanna make them do the worm and just the legs or the stanky leg, you can move it that much. So that is pretty cool, but I would just pop out like maybe one and have it to move. But once you pop out one, uh, it's kind of hard to get it to stand, I think, after you done pop it out. Let me see if he'll stand once you just pop them joints out. Yeah, he's standing. So he can stand if you just pop one out and it can move that far. And also here, this can only go, well, I guess this is the articulation that it has for the tail too, but these can move. That'll pop out if you're not careful, and it can kind of twist. So that's the articulation for the red Dragonzoid. Now let's combine them and make the attack mode right quick. It's actually included with two black pieces. You stick the one black piece down here, and yes, you take the other piece and you just slide it in there. It was very easy, but when we connect them, first you take the pterodactyl, and you're going to stick her down, like so. Very nice, very cool. Then let's say we take the unicorn. You have these two slots here and the two slots will go in these two slots. So you just take those, let's fold your wings up. No need to be greedy and take all the space, but here you go. And it just falls into place. We do the same thing with the griffin, same thing, two holes. We're gonna stick it here, stick it here, stick it here, clap, clap your hands. All right, then we're gonna take the actual lion Big old lion, and we're gonna take him, and I thought you had to take off the tail, but as you can see here, it is, can't see it from that angle, two holes here, 
and it's two holes here. Well, two uh, filler in holes, whatever that actual word is. You guys, if you haven't learned, I stink with words. I stink with words, but I still keep bringing you the best toy reviews ever. But those actually fall into place, and then you push them down. Let me make sure. Yep, it's on there. I guess they fall down, but they don't stay in place that much. But there they are connected, and as you can see, they're not touching the ground. Yeah, you see here, how they're not touching the ground. Very cool. Now, if you look in here, you see the last spot is left for the red dragon sword. Let's make sure we actually fold her head back to make room for him. And then we're going to take him, which is right here, and we're going to easily set him down in there. And his feet, of course, fit in there. And you just kind of push him down in there. You actually give him a staff and fold these up. Now, there's actually no wheels attached here, but it does still look really cool. I do like it. But why did they not include wheels? This cannot move. But they do look cool while they're all in place there together, like he's about to take off. Though, you, as you can see, the Red Falcon Zord is towering over the rest of them. So, oh, now it's time to actually form this Mechazord. Okay, first we're going to take these. You can actually pop out these silver parts. Bend that down. And pop it. Have that sticking up. We're going to do the same thing here. Bring that out. Bring it up. Take that. Pop it down. Like that. And bring it around town. Now we're going to articulate this guy. So what you're going to do is take these. Flip them out. Put these babies out like so make sure they're aligned like it is in there if you can see in there not really but you're going to take them make sure his arms are completely flipped like so bring these both out and then you're going to take these and swish them in there smush i love figures that you can just smush and it's going to easily go in there like so and there you have that part now for the actual next part what we're going to do is we got to take her we're going to take off the pterodactyl's tail no abuse intended for animals in this video. You're gonna take this and you're gonna stick it in there. And what you're gonna do is bring it around and fold. I never really liked this. I wish the wings could have actually clipped to something in the front too. But here they actually have it where they clip to the side. So that's pretty cool. Well, not really clipped. They just kind of fall into place there, but easily can be taken down. And there he is with his huge skirt. So now that part's done. This thing's starting to get big. So now we're gonna take off the head easily set that to the side we're going to take off all of these disconnect you're disconnected and you're disconnected so when we have the paws we're going to take them fold them out fold out this one and hold on these are supposed to be like so fold it down and then now we're going to take the paws and actually stick it into here and it folds down. Very nice. Where are you supposed to keep it straight? There you go. And then we're gonna take the other one. Where are you? Come here, you. Come here, you. Take you, and we're gonna fold you down. Like so. Guys, I'm having to kind of rush through this video because I gotta go get my car fixed again. I think I'm close to like $3,000, so I'm guessing that's life. Not really that happy about that. Could have bought a lot more figures. All right, I actually ran out of room on my memory thing, so now let's keep going where we left off. Take these things, gonna flip them out like so. This was like this in the form. You flip that out, and then you take it and you smush it in there. And there you go. It is connected, and this thing is ready to go. Now, also including the weapons, you will take this right here. The very cool staff. You can easily plug this in here, and there you go. His staff is ready to go. Just look at them standing up next to each other. The staff is bigger than the actual Zord. Now for the actual helmet, what we're gonna do is we can take this right here, we can bring it down, and it'll lock on the back of those ears. And like that, it is attached. Now we also do have this really nice sword. You can see the detail on it. They did an awesome job. Looks very nice. One thing I didn't like is that this looked like a lot of plastic. You know, I, I wish they could at least paint it like a silver chrome. And here you can say they did an awesome job on the lines and the gold on there. But when you actually, and the chain, the chain is real. It's not plastic. Uh, it's not like really heavy. It doesn't have that much weight to it, but it is a chain. Here, yep, that's a small chain. Very light though. So I think it's not that much of an expensive chain. But when you actually take the sword out, take it out for you. Here you can see it's painted chrome. So I do like that. The sword does look very good. So stick that back in there. It actually has it where this can plug into the side 
of the Megazord. There you can see there's the two holes. We're gonna take these two holes and we're going to plug it in there. Ready and plug. Plug. There it is. And for some reason, what it actually shows is that you actually take this and you wrap it around like so. That's how they have it in the instruction manual, weirdly to say. And that's pretty much the full transformation of it. It looks pretty cool. I do like it. And I will do a comparison video. Also put this inside of his hand. It's a cool little um, uh, stepping mechanism. Stepping mechanism. And that looks really cool. It stands really tall. As you can see here in the transform mode, the staff does look really good. It's really big. This right here, this looks really small on camera and on the box, but this actually is pretty huge. It's gigantic. It just looks smaller. I don't know why. This looks very cool. I love how the legs came out for the Griffin and the Unicorn. The lion's looking awesome. So is the Pterodactyl and the Dragon Zord is underneath there. You can't really see him, but he's like the skeleton. Very nice. And the sword is cool. Let's put the sword in his hand. And here he is holding both the sword and the staff. Looks very nice. He kind of leans forward some. Kind of weird. Never mind, he appears to be leaning forward whenever you kind of tilt his hands. But it does look good. I probably would have liked if the gold was a little bit more glossy. See how the light's reflecting off of it? If it would have been made out of a more chrome gold, it would have been a little bit more shiny. But the gold on there, is, I'm content with it. It doesn't look that bad. At least the actual sword was chrome. I do like how that came out. It's just cool. It's really big. It's just funny to me how this looks really small and that's actually pretty large. It's gigantic. That's what actually made me kind of think about not getting it. Because I really like the huge chest piece. And it really is in person. Looks very nice. I will do a comparison video, and I will do another video where I combine certain parts of this to the White Tiger Zord. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Caleb Craig, Deadpool Toys 1 2.